here has been told something along the lines of, you can't do this because you're, insert your gender here. Yeah, most of us have at one point or another. For me personally, it was on my first day of kindergarten with my teacher, Miss Lewis. We were all saying our favorite colors to introduce ourselves, and I said my favorite color was blue. This one girl looks at me and says, blue? Why are you even a girl then? Because of our gender, we're constantly having stereotypes pushed on us and negative comments given to us if we don't, if we don't conform to them. I actually did a small survey with students at Web asking them the same question I asked you a bit ago, and this was the result. Over 80% of people said that they've dealt with gender stereotypes, but that wasn't the only question I asked them. I also asked them what's, what stereotypes they've dealt with based on their gender, and I want you to play a game with me. I want you all to guess whether the following answer came from a boy or a girl. <clears throat> Something like, you can't play with race cars, or you can't like green or blue. I was, a gr I was a kid at the time, so it made me think that I had to like princesses and dolls. So put one finger up if you think a boy wrote this, two fingers up if you think a girl wrote this. You guys are correct, a girl did write this. According to an article by authors Cheryl Bender-Peterson and Mary Alice Hatch, titled Gender Stereotypes in Children's Books, people are being stereotyped in a bad way, and it starts at a very young age. <clears throat> Numerous studies showed that females were typically portrayed as, pa as passive, dependent, and generally incapable, and that males were portrayed as active, independent, and generally competent. Stereotype patterns were consistent across a variety of reading mater materials, including picture books, fiction for older readers, and school books. What this shows is that the messages we get at a young age in all kinds of media perpetuate negative stereotypes. Piecing together this quote and the survey, you can see how in society, women are forced into the role of submissive and incapable, and men are forced into the role of capable and dependent workers. Gender stereotypes as a whole make people feel unable to, to express, themselves or express themselves or do what they like to do. For me personally, I feel as though I can't be interested in certain activities or join certain clubs that a lot of boys are in. Gender stereotypes are even evident in big toy companies. If you look at boy toys and girl toys, you can see a very clear difference between them. Girl toys are typically very pink and usually kitchens, dolls, and makeup. Boy toys, on the other hand, are a lot different. It's generally very blue and green and usually has vehicles and weapons, which can bring us back to what people were told based on their gender. This goes to show how much stereotypes have made a staple in modern society, and companies will most likely not change their ways since it makes millions of dollars for them. Now, you may be asking yourself, but this is only stereotypes in childhood. How does that affect adults? According to an article by the Frontiers in Psychology, gender stereotypes affect performance and self-worth in adults, especially women doing STEM-related careers. When parents endorse specific gender stereotypes, for example, boys are better in STEM, girls are better in languages, they're more likely to uninvitedly intrude in homework, undermining children's confidence in these areas and weakening their self-concept. Sorry. These kinds of long-term influences by parents and teachers may have a significant influence on them, not only on motivation and achievement, but on their career choice as well. Several studies have coined the term stereotype threat. In these studies, participants were usually confronted with a stereotype about a target group. In the context of STEM, stereotypes would include men being more successful in math and science. After confrontation with the stereotype, study participants worked on a task associated with the stereotype. After and performance was compared to another group working on the same task not confronted with the stereotype. In nearly all studies with the stereotype threat, females achieved worse with mathematical tasks, and their interest decreased when they were confronted with the stereotype that women are less talented in mathematics. I shouldn't need to say this, but that isn't okay. People's lives shouldn't be changed in a negative way because of false stereotypes. And this means that even in adulthood, gender stereotypes still affect you. They affect people regardless of age. Also, 
have you noticed that I've only been talking about male and female stereotypes when there are other genders such as non-binary or gender fluid? This is another issue with gender stereotypes. It's very binary because stereotyping and gendering products is either male or female. It brings a very big connotation that these are the only genders there are, one or the other. This is obviously not true, but gender stereotypes are erasing those identities and putting everyone into a box. Now, I'm not saying that you now just have to like blue if you're a girl or change your whole personality to, to match another gender because that's not fixing the issue of gender stereotypes. What I'm saying is that we have to move past gender stereotypes as a whole and let people be themselves and do what they like to do. So, do you think we should have gender stereotypes in society? Thank you.